going on YouTube so I wanted to make this video for a few days but I've kind of been a bit iffy about it because I'm not sure what kind of response it's going to get it'll either be like a positive response or a really negative one um, but I've decided to make this video just to raise more awareness for eating disorders because I feel like it's not really something that's spoken about I don't feel like it's really in the media like I don't really see much about it ever on like any social media on TV you see like smoking drugs and all those kind of things but people don't really realize how serious eating disorders are so I wanted to make this video to show to you how serious it is okay so I came across this photo um, I was reading my comments and someone said that I reminded them of another YouTuber. I think her name is What Mia Did Next, something like that. And I went on her YouTube and just like had a look at the videos that she had and one video caught my attention. And I just briefly skipped through it and I went into the description and clicked the link. And I'm going to show this photo and I'm going to read the story about this but if you are easily triggered or you feel like this kind of image is going to have a negative effect on you or your eating disorder or it might trigger you, please don't watch this. Um, I will write down in the description the exact timestamps of when I'm going to show this photo. And yeah, just please skip it because I don't want any... Um, I don't want anyone to get affected by it. I don't want anyone to think that I'm promoting something bad. This basically just opened my eyes and it made me realize what eating disorders can do, do to a person um, on the outside and the inside. And I feel like people need to see this. They need to know what can happen. Um, if you're going through an eating disorder, you, you need to really help yourself because there's really no good outcome from an eating disorder. Like you, you need to try your best to get better for yourself, for your family, because what I'm about to show you is quite bad. It doesn't mean that this is going to happen to you, but I'm just saying like eating disorders don't lead to something amazing. They lead to something bad if it continues and if it gets really really serious so please don't be affected by my words this is just my opinion I'm only doing this for I'm only doing it in a positive light I just want to help people and I want you guys to realize that what I want you to realize what can happen I'm not trying to say this is going to happen to you it's just it's just no awareness you know like when you see on cigarette packets you see the people with like all I don't know stuff on their body and this and that that's there to show you what can happen if you're a serious smoker you know just like when you see an advertisement about someone binge drinking and getting into a car accident it's raising awareness of what will happen if you binge drink and drive so same thing like this like it's just me trying to show you is what can happen and I feel like Everyone needs to see this because, you know, I've had friends tell me that what I'm going through is nothing and it's fine and we all overeat. But no, this photo is going to show everyone what can happen if this isn't taken seriously. You know, if your friends are battling through this, like you need to be there for them because I'm about to show you this photo right now. Okay, so when I came across this, um, I'm not sure who it was written by. I know this was in 2008. Um, I think it's like a website blog post. Um, I'm going to read to you exactly, exactly what it says. So the title of it is Bulimia Kills Warning Graphic Pictures. It's got the photo and it says... Oh, by the way, please, um, if I pronounce something really weirdly, just ignore it. Like, I always use, this ex use the excuse that I wasn't born here, so English is my second language. But yeah, just some words I don't pronounce really well, so just ignore it. So it says, death due to neurogenic shock following gastric rupture in an anorexic nervosa patient. So this girl was 19. Um, she had anorexia and bulimia for five years. 
she is a hundred well, she was 155 centimeters and weighed 43 kilos so basically the photo was taken after her stomach ripped from eating 5.6 liters of food I will show that photo here as well okay so when they did the autopsy, they found that her stomach had been extended from where your ribs meet each other all the way to her pubic bone, right behind that pad of fat above the genitals. And her stomach had a large rip in it. She also had some other abnormalities going on her. Her heart was small and displayed typical characteristics of a starving heart, destroyed muscles and dead immune cells. Her brain had swelled, my guess due to the massive increase in blood flow after her stomach ruptured. It had started to squeeze out her skull before she died. She also had evidence of focal phenomia in her lungs. Not really surprising as starvation hurts the immune response to viruses. Okay, this kind of part actually got to me. I don't know why, but this is the paragraph that kind of was like, just kind of, I don't know, like a wake-up call. Like a typical binger, her stomach was dying before it ripped. What I mean is that every time we binge, our stomachs expand. If they expand far enough, the vessels supplying them blood are crushed, cutting off the blood supply to the area, killing the tissue. The area is weakened and the next binge of that caliber becomes more dangerous. Purging just adds fuel to the fire by increasing stomach pressure above and beyond the natural level. But believe it or not, the ruptured, the ruptured stomach didn't kill it. A natural reaction did. When the stomach exploded, her body responded with a typical immune reaction. It dilated her blood vessels, her blood pressure dropped, she blacked out and her heart slowed down and stopped. They also did a tox screen and found nothing. Potassium levels are obviously of no use, as when you die, potassium leaks out of your cells. And the last sentence of this, like, blog post, website, I don't know, article what it is. It says, there is no glamour or beauty spending your last living moments over a toilet. Yeah, I don't know. So this, like, especially that paragraph that I just read, when I read it, I was just kind of like, whoa, like... So as you guys know, I binged for five years and at the time I never really thought anything of it. Like, I was like, oh well, I knew your, your stomach expands and like when you, you know, consume so much food, just like when you, you know, stop eating, your stomach shrinks and that's why you get full so quickly. But this, uh, I don't know, reading this article just kind of really opened my eyes because some of you might know you know, I went from binge eating to then trying to starve myself on purpose. And then I never um, purged, but I did use laxatives and I did detox teas and I did like diets where for three days you only eat like, what was it? It was like a boiled egg, peanut butter, piece of toast, vanilla ice cream, just like crush, crash diets and all that. And I feel like this is my opinion. Every single dis eating disorder is different, but the same. They all have different characteristics, but the same characteristics. So I hope this uh, article video doesn't offend anyone. It was just kind of like, wow. You know, sometimes um, to get help, everyone's different. So sometimes people need positivity that will encourage them to go help. Sometimes people need something bad to happen to get help. Um, I'm not sure what exactly this is from um, because you know like every doctor they give you a different opinion. You can see five doctors and they all might tell you that, like something different. Um, when I was 16, 17, so no, sorry, I was like 15 turning 16. Um, this was just when I started like binge eating, like the early year. I went to the hospital because I had a really bad pain like on the right side of my stomach. And I was there for two nights and they thought it was my appendix. Like they didn't know because it looked normal, it didn't look inflamed or anything, but the pain was coming from that area. So nothing happened, they didn't take it out and then... 
since then maybe it's happened 10 times and i've been to the hospital four times where i would get so this is how it happened and the reason why i don't believe it's my appendix like obviously i'm not a doctor or anything but i don't think it's my appendix is it's only ever happened after eating something bad or a day or two after a binge i'd wake up at 2 a.m and the right side of my stomach would absolutely kill i would literally have stabbing pains um, and this would last like really badly for six hours and then it would calm down i'm telling you like so like it happened two nights ago um there have been uh, two occasions where I've been able to kind of stop it. So I've gone to the bathroom, I had um, Nurofen or Panadol, and it kind of slowed down and I was able to fall asleep. But I have had times where I've been awake since 2 a.m., throwing up, going to the bathroom, laying on the floor, curled up in a bowl, just dying from pain. And once again, one doctor said I should take out my appendix just in case. Another doctor said... That it's not my appendix um so i'm probably intolerant to something um which i probably should go check it out or go see a naturopath but yeah so this seeing this article just made me like whoa realize how important it is to take care of your body it's it's what we live in and you know you need to feed your body with good food and exercise and not you know stress your body out um because sometimes you know i don't get my monthly period i i don't really treat my body like it should you know it's gone from eating super clean like so strict to then consuming all these bad foods in like such short periods to then going on a crash diet, then laxatives, and eating healthy, then over-exercising, then starving, then eating a lot. And I just feel like all these years have just built up and my body is just it's not healthy. So, you know, this wasn't really like a positive video, like a happy video, I mean, but I just really felt like I had to put it out there. Um, people need to know that eating disorders are serious. If you know someone that's battling with an eating disorder, you need to be there for them. Don't brush it aside like people have brushed it aside for me when I was younger. It is serious. Things like this can happen and yeah. So that's basically it. I just, you know, like I said, just wanted to raise awareness. The world needs to know there are more, there are serious Mental illness and all that, it is really serious and I just feel like it's not put out there as much as it should. So if you know someone that's battling through an eating disorder or any type of mental illness, please, please be there for them and help them. So yeah, I hope this video was informative. I hope it didn't offend anyone because that was not my intentions. You know guys, I only have really good intentions and I never mean to put anyone down or trigger anyone or anything like that. So I'll see you guys next time.